Hey, hello. Back again at this game. And two things happened. I mean, nothing happened with this game. But two things happened. OBS updated and it let me know that my drivers were almost two years old. So hopefully that, I don't know, improves things somehow. Um, I've actually been trying Fruit Crusher several times and have not been able to solve it. So I'm going to try something a little easier, hopefully easier. To start off with. Okay. Move all reds after all blues, then produce. Robots enter with 0 to 30 red blue on their tape. They have equal red and blue, and all red are before any blue. Oh, okay. Wait. So doesn't that just mean it's... Oh, okay. So yeah, it, it can be, like, if I do the test... It can't be red with some blue after, unless it's the same exact amount of blue. Okay. But that just means if I take in a red, make it a blue, and if I take in... Okay, yeah, I think I can do this one. There's also, like, not much room at all in this one, which is funny. If I take in a red, make it blue, and then when I take in my first blue, make it a red... I mean, I don't know if this will work exactly. I think it'll be off by one or something. Let's see, because it took in that, made it a blue. Oh, oh wait, yeah, what am I doing? How does it know when to end? Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So then I need to say, when it takes in the first blue, do something like this. Uh, I think it's going to be something like this, and then... It's going to be taking in more blues, and I have to convert that to red. And then when it... I think it's... It's something like this. Again, I don't think this is quite it. A red and a blue. Made it a red, and then it saw a blue. Oh, wait. It was actually done for... I need to test it with something uh, longer, because it's just not very meaningful. Wait. I thought I did test there. Run test. Oh. Oh, okay. Red, 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 blue, blue, blue. So it made those into blues, and then it should be like, okay, now we're starting the blues, but ah, I see. It's just going to be blues until it's all cleared out. So I think what I need to say is at this point. Okay, wait, so I need it to replace those three reds with blues, but then when it seeds its first blue, because I, okay, yeah, because I just want to, okay, I think I have to mark the ending then, so I think I have to start by marking it with a red, actually. Because then, and I'll, I'll figure out what happens here, but then it's like, Converts those, and then it starts converting these. Yeah. Does this work, actually? I wonder. Maybe it does work. Nice. It feels good to actually solve one of these again. <laughs> Trust me, I've spent a long time on that Fruit Crusher level without actually getting anywhere, and I've just decided it's not really worth sharing. Okay, time can be like almost twice as fast. I can use half the amount of scanner stampers and the area can be cut down a lot. Okay. All right, let's just see this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like there's not many ways to solve this and there's just one clearly very good way. Uh, so what am I doubling up here? I mean, I can do it with three. It says. Because, like, I, you know, I was thinking, like, maybe somehow, like, this would work, but I know it doesn't. I think it might even just loop back and forth here. How would you do it with three? I kind of, actually, now that I think about it, I just need to remove the reds and print them back on, and then it's done. 
the only problem is I only know that I'm done printing the reds when I see a blue. Oh, so then I just print an extra blue at the start. Okay, so if I print an... Okay, let me just set this up like in a way that makes sense to me first. If I print an extra blue at the start, then I just need to remove the reds and print them back on, and then when I see a blue, it's done. Actually, I think... Is this it? I think I might need another. I don't know, but seems to work. Wow, okay. And actually, before I even look at <coughs> the results of that one, this is minimum area. Yeah, that's a bit better. <laughs> that's funny, because that was actually like a different concept than what I did initially, but it makes more sense. Because this is all it's doing is saying we already have the right amount of blues, they're just at the end. We just need to move the amount of reds to the front. Okay, yeah. So this is just the solution, really. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, yeah, again, I, I'll, I haven't looked at Gene's Distressor, but Fruit Crusher is just... Yeah. I mean, I did start it on, on one of the videos and then the power cut out, but I think I wouldn't have beat it anyways. Remove the first red and blue, then produce. So this is the same thing as before. But basically I need to cut down the number of reds and the number of blues. And I want them in the same order. So this, so it's funny, if I, if I kind of approach it the same way as last time and just say like, uh, like, well, I don't want the initial red in this one, do I? Well, anyway, if I do, well, let me just, let me do the thing which I've done once before where I just literally copy from here, go into here, and paste. Uh, I want to drag that, okay, yeah, and then paste, and then see what the deal was with this one and how it'll do here. Oops. Yeah, so it prints out that, but I want one less blue, one less red. The one less blue, I think all that needs to happen for that is this. But now I need one less red, so that means... I think I that just means I would need it to, like, remove that red and then go there. Oh, whoops, I, I don't, I know this isn't right yet. So now, oh wait, oh wait, one last red. Ah, so, oh, that's interesting, because that's not removing one last red. Or sorry, removing one more red. It's that, ooh. Ooh, how do I get it to say... Oh, well, what's funny is that once I have it here, then I can say, turn those blues into reds. Okay, yeah, what's funny is when I have it here, now I want to do what I just did, I think. Yeah, that's funny. I want to do what I just did, but in reverse. So... I think all I gotta do is take this. Okay, wait, actually, it's it's literally just these two. This is so weird. Re and then reverse. And then, I, I don't, if this works, that's insane. <laughs> okay, wait, <laughs> this works, that's insane. Wow. Wow. Nice. It's already fully, like, as optimized as I need it for all the metals. That's cr that is, like, probably the fastest I've ever solved a level that was, like, not extremely simple. That's really interesting. So, like, the, the concept of this was it, it, it does what the other level did exactly, but 
because it doesn't add in a blue at the start, there's going to be one less blue when it outputs. But then, it's like, what I just want to do what I did before, where I take in every blue, put it at the end, and then one less red, and then it just works. It works out like perfectly. Like these two levels correlate directly with each other. Oh man, okay, I've locked another area. But I haven't beaten either of these. This game's getting hard though. I mean, th this one I just, I am so stuck on, I can't even tell you. So I'll try this one for a bit. I could literally spend an hour on it again. Or sorry, uh, I could I could spend an hour on this, I could spend an hour on the old one, but I might spend like hours on this new one for all I know without getting it, if it's anything like Fruit Crusher. But I want to at least look at it before I move on. Accept robots that enter with the same number of red and blue. Junk the rest. Okay. Robots and all red are before all blue. But in this one, as long as the red's before blue, uh, there can be any amount. It just doesn't start with a blue ever. Oh, I guess it can have one single blue, though. Same number of red and blue. Well, what's funny is, did I already kind of solve this here? Because unless I'm mistaken, this is almost exactly what I want. Sort of? At least it's sort of what I want. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, so if I do the same amount, I think it does work. Or wait, no, it doesn't work, but it, it's all I would need to do... Or no, actually, yeah, that... Well, what I need to do actually here, though, is just return it to the start at this point, so... I would return it to the start, and I don't think there's a better way to configure that as far as I can tell. Oh, but yeah, there is. <laughs> it's actually really weird, but... That. Because <laughs> um, then this just sends it back and forth, eliminating one at a time from each side. Until... Over here and there's none and then it's good but okay let's see what happens if there's like one less blue just want to see ah oh, it's an infinite loop that's no good right. so maybe I don't want to like see that's I'm always afraid to do it over simplification before I really know what's gonna happen so if I just keep it like this for a moment maybe I mean, this isn't actually going to change anything, but, well, it might. Well, let's see what happens anyway. Infinite loop again, yeah. Because it keeps getting a red and producing a red. Okay, so what if I instead told it to go to a new one? I mean, I th think this will just do the same thing. But if I told it to go to a new one... Uh, whoops, uh, what's the best way to do this? I guess like that. It's fine. If I tell it to go to a new one, what, what happens? What do I see? Oh, and then it sees the blues. I need to like catch it when it's um when there's a problem. Hmm, let me just think for a moment here. Also, I, I was hoping OBS would run better, but I feel like it's running like <laughs> way worse now. I just looked at it and the recording's like super slow. <laughs> That's not good. Let me see if I can change anything right now. Um I'll I'll just uh I'll come back in a second. I'm gonna stop this recording. 
All right, I changed one thing on the recording. I, it might not help at all, but I just want to test. Um, I can't change. Uh, maybe if I lower the FPS, it would help. But uh, hopefully, it's at least somewhat watchable. So w what I was thinking is, I need yeah, I need to find like the point where it breaks if I have a different amount of red and blue. So I mean, this takes in four reds, three blues, converts the f four red. Uh, it just takes the four reds back. Oh, and it loses a blue. Right, it loses a blue. And then it... Wait, why is this doing the... Wait, I just wanna um, I wanna go back to that one design I had. Cause what what exactly happens here? Right now blues, now it's reds. Does the reds? Now it's a blue. Wait, I think it's when it's a blue followed immediately by a red that I'm in trouble. So I think actually. To fix this, maybe all I have to do is say uh, that immediate red thing. So, uh, how do, what's the best way to fix this? Um, yeah, so then we could say, like, let's do this in case I need it, but. Uh, yeah, the immediate blue sends it to another thing where it goes back and forth. But if you see a red, I think that means reject. So this one should work now. Let me, I don't, there's no way this will work, but I just wanna know what fails. Single blue fails, that should be trash. Well, I mean, I can just put this here if that's okay. Single red fails, that should also be trash. Ah, but it gets stuck in a loop. Okay, so I think I also need to do a first red test. If it the if uh, how do I ah uh, how do I get around that actually? If I see a single red. I guess I just want to say like for the very first red, if it's blank, then uh. Yeah, so that, okay, so there's the idea. Now how do I, the very first, if the very first red is blank. Okay, so I think I need to kind of stretch this out just so I can make more sense of this. If the very first red is blank. So if I do something more like, this or um, yeah like this that's trash and this is oh wait no if the very first red is blank it'll go there but otherwise do that until you send stuff this way Remove those two and bring this back in. Uh, there's probably some stuff I can edit, but let me just see how this works. Okay, so s wait, single red, and then oh wait, I, yeah, that sorry, that should have been that. Okay, red, blue failed. Red. Oh, red, and then blue. Oh wait, right, because I took off. No, I know exactly what happened there. Um, actually, I kind of, I just want to see, though, is there for some reason why that would fix it? No, okay. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, no, so it's, I took off two reds, but only, I mean, I need to, like, put back on a red, so I think I need to say, if you see a red, and then it's blank, trash it, but if you see a red, 
and then it's red, then give it two reds, and then continue on like normal. So <laughs> I think I actually needed to wait before condensing that at all. So the very, okay, yeah, so actually I might want to even do like, uh, this. And then say, see a red, and that's it, dump it this way. But if you see a red and another red, give it two reds, and then continue on like normal with that process. Once you see a blue, send it that way. And that actually, well, doesn't quite allow me to do, but that's okay. I'll just leave like that. Does this, ooh, wait, single red failed. Oh God, okay, yeah, it's the same. <laughs> this needs to be a crusher, not a victory hole. The reason why I say crusher and victory hole are because C and V is just easier to keep track of. Ah, red and blue, wait, I thought that's red. Oh, oh, if it's red and then it's blue. Okay, if it's red and then it's blue immediately blue well then i just need to give it a red and send it on its way i guess i don't know what a better way to do this is right now so i'm just gonna do it the very sloppy but the way i think it should work red and then blue still failed all right so I gave it a red. Because that's like... Putting back on the red. So do I want this to be victory? Or does that me mess up something else? Red, red fails. Because red, red gives it two reds. And then it sees a red. Ah, and then it gets stuck in a loop. Yeah, so I can't just say, ooh, I have to make sure it doesn't only have reds. I see. So I guess I should put a blue on it just to mark where the ending is, because... Oh, but then how do I know that that's not... Hmm. So, okay, so it should never have a single blue at the ending is what I can say. If I, uh, okay, I'm gonna extend this once again. Uh, let me just make sure everything is still adding up. So, I wanna add a blue just to say that, and this might mess up other things, but I think I can fix it. Just to say that you should never have a single blue at the end after the reds oh whoops okay yeah so that is messed up actually so let me do that for now i this is the sloppy design it'll be improved later just as long as it functions as i want that's fine so is that like the first blue i need to say after the first blue if it's blank or er, after the first blue if you see a red that's a problem ah so then it should be like the first test over here if you see red trash it but i don't i think this is gonna affect something else but let me just see what this does oh blue 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 is the first thing that failed Oh, wait, yeah, no, if it starts with blue, that's just instant fail, right? Because red, yeah, so um, all I need to do here to help with this is just that, that, um, this, and trash. No, wait, does this work? Wow. Cool. That was ultra sloppy, but wow, not bad with scanner stampers. Not even well. I mean, the area is different. Wow, and the time. Okay, so I can I can fix this up for sure. Not sure about the scanner stamper. We'll figure that out. But um, 
it's such a mess right now. Um, okay, because red and blank, blue should be the only way out. It's the best way. Oh, so. Wait, I just want to see what happens if a blank goes in. Where does it end up? Oh, that's a that's a victory. Oh, well, okay. But if a single red goes in, or like maybe even multiple, this is like. Oh, okay. So I think this. If I, okay, let me just test. Does this still work? Yeah, it's still work. Okay, so I don't need to care about where that blank is pointing. I just need to say. That red is trash, so. Um, okay, well, I'll start with this idea of uh, taking the. I can basically just take this, twist it, and then this still works, and then that. How do I help with this blue thingy? Probably by um, kind of taking this and twisting it. Wait, is that what? Wait. Oh, I see. Taking this and twisting it and then putting it here and then putting this like that and then there and then that at least improves that a little bit. Now this has to be here, right? Or no, it doesn't? Oh. That changes things already. What have I improved? Okay. Um... This is so much easier than the fruit crusher one. Like, I never even solved the fruit crusher one, just to be clear. It was hard enough just to get one that was a correct solution out of, like, any of the inputs. Um, it really does need to add two red. I think this, like, two reds thing is, like, unnecessary if I, like, cut down something else. Because, let's see, because, like... It seems weird that if it's red here, I add two reds, and if it's blue here, I add one. So I'm gonna just test something really quick. If I cut those both down, does it still work for some reason? Ah, no. But I feel like maybe there's something. Oh, but that's just because of that. Okay, well, I need to test then. Uh... Oh, okay, that's actually an easy thing to test, because all I gotta do is flip this around and try this. Does this work by any chance? Red, blue, and then saw blue. Oh, and then it was blank. Oh, well then again, let me try this. Ah. Red, blue, blue, red, blue, blue. Ah, uh, because it just gets stuck there. Okay, well, I mean, there might be something to this, but let me let me just focus on, before I mess around too much with that, let me just focus on keeping those reds there um, and optimizing this. Um... If it sees a red, trash it. Yes. Oh, wait. So this seems like it'd probably be better if I took all this stuff and just rotate it here. Right? Yeah, rotate it here. Or even here, actually. Wait, no, because that would send the blue to trash. 
Well, actually, I could work around that. Um, do that. And then do this and say that's trash. Let me just see. I think this should still work, but I might have broken it on accident. Oops, I did. All right, hold on. So, but I think doing, taking this and twisting it and putting it here is pretty good. Let me just make sure. So, yeah, all I need to say is that goes in there. Like, this should still work. Really? No? Why not? Single blue brakes. Oh, yeah, because I need that to be trash. Um... I see, so I guess that's kind of good, but is that what I had before and like I tried to improve it? Single blue is trash. I'm trying to see if there's like a Nice way of setting this up. Uh, um, I think this is what I had before, right? Single blue is trash. Can I do this? Wait, so. That blue there. Oh, shoot, let me just. This blue leads into that. That red leads into that. Blue leads into that. Ah, oh, okay. But then that red's supposed to lead back to the start. Huh. Man, this would almost be good if if I just could get a ramp. Oh well, that's not good, but um. Some variation of that could be good. If that blue at the start wasn't an issue. Um, I don't even know what I'm trying to optimize. I guess space right now. But if they can do it this, this with less scanner stampers, I guess that's what I should focus on. I mean, I guess speed as well, but... <laughs> I feel like the less scanner stampers is what's going to influence the speed the most. Um, well, what can I say here? It's kind of unfortunate that opposite sides of this I want to go to the same place sort of but this one kind of has more going on yeah I feel like I should actually uh, swap this around and do all that stuff over here. So how what would the best way? I guess I'll just first say this is red, red, I guess, and then do that. And then when it gets here, just do that. But if you see, okay, so hopefully I set this up right. I think this, I just want to make sure, does this still work? I think it does, yeah. That still works. Didn't improve anything, but this can be cleaned up, I think. Maybe. Um, well, I mean, yeah, like, I just... I really just want this thing to point like here. The only issue is that when it sees a blue, it sends it to the infinite blue loop. Um, 
mean, if anything, I could bring it down, but the red shouldn't go to victory. It should go there. Okay, what if I just, uh, oh god, now I'm like swapping it all around. What if I just hold it to, for both of them to just go here? I mean, that seems better at least. And then, even though this is kind of a long walk, I think that improves the space. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, right. Well, it still improves the space, because... I mean, I guess this is better. And it might improve the time. Ah, but yeah, I still need to improve the time a lot more. So I just want to know, what's the what's the slowest thing right now? Yeah. Is this max amount of... Yeah, it's like max amount of uneven red blues, I think. Because it does all that. I mean, here's what I want to count. Like, one, like I'm counting extra conveyors like that maybe can somehow be erased. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's like ten every cycle. And it runs for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, that'd save like a one hundred forty if I could cut down all of those conveyors. So actually I think I think this design could be good as long as I can condense it further. I could get the time metal. It's just there's <laughs> there's so many like winding ways in this one that it makes it kind of awkward to try to. Okay, wait. I just noticed something though. Oh shoot! Yeah. If I get rid of all of this stuff. I think I can actually place this here. It's just that victory is m m messed up, but... Uh, is there a way I can get around that? Because I really want that red to actually just go that way. I mean, if I if, if I said this, then the blank would go. He oh no, that's funny because I want it to go straight there, I guess. Oh, but if if this is the start and I point this this way, and then that's victory, and then this is the oh, does this does this work? Ah, is that 25? Hey, nice. Ooh, still not fast enough, really. But getting there, but... Jeez. Okay. Wait, actually, I want to see the slowest again and just check on that. I'm 39 away. And let's see. So, oh, this is actually extra. I mean, but it, I don't know if I can... Huh. Getting to the point where there's just not much room. This this red is never even used in this one, huh? Or is it like towards the very end? Like where's where does it finally dump it? Oh wait, okay, so it's he's just a blue. Puts on just a red and then it dumps it. But I guess, why can't I, uh, I guess there's some reason why I can't just say, like, oh, I see, because I brought it right here, so he's a blue, and then if the next thing is a red, but, like, why can't I say, like, if it's blank? then dump it, and if it's 
blue, then give it a red and continue it on. Because actually that would, um, because I'm thinking, I just want to try this, so I want to say it shouldn't see a red there ever, maybe, and then, then this. Then I need this one to actually go there, unless I can, for some reason, do this. I'm gonna try, I don't think this would work. No. Blue, blue, gave it a red, single red, blank. Uh, I'm kind of losing what the idea was at this point, but. Uh, is there some way I can... So this this arrow is not... Oh, that arrow has to send it there, I see. Wait, I... is that right? That arrow has to send it. Keeps adding until it gets... I need to see how this works. That's the part where it moves all the reds. And then if it removes a blue, that could be because it's the single blue, and if the next thing's a red, you gotta dump it, I see. Uh. I, I, like, this shouldn't work, but I just wanna know, like, And this shouldn't work either. No, okay. Dang, okay, well I got the 25 solution, but I think I th there's something actually just wrong with my design in order for me to get the scanner stamper in time thing, most likely, because this is like weirdly condensed in a way like where it really just cares about improving the space. Um. Yeah, this is this is weird. Um, like maybe I could extend this out and like remove all the gaps, use a lot more scanner stampers. But because I can cut this down by two, it's like that's what I really want to find. I feel like it's something to do with. Let me just see exactly. So what? So right now I have it removing the first red and then adding a blue in case. Oh wait, yeah, do I only need to add that blue the very first time? Because I do that every single time. No, I guess I guess there's a reason why I need to do that every single time, right? Well, let me see. Uh, let me just see if I like uh, add it. So like the very first time it checks for bull, uh, for red, it sees a red, it sends it that way. But it first adds a blue. And if it sees a blue, it's trash, and there's victory. Oh, there's victory. So does this still work? No, because for red, red, blue, blue. Red adds two reds. And then it sees a blue. That's the last one. Now it's blues. And now it's one less of each. And then it sees a red. And then it sees. Immediately sees a blue. Uh, 
it sees a red. In this case, if it sees a red and then immediately a blue, it would actually be good. As long as that's the last blue. So then, I mean, I, I don't, does this work? No, because single red adds a blue, takes off that blue, oh. Yeah, because single red, I see. Because I added on that blue, but then this is just saying if you see a blue, that's why I can't just immediately add on the red though, maybe. Ah, uh, but it'd be blank either way. Okay, so there is an issue there. I don't think I can. I think I do need that blue on every single time at the start for some reason. off all the reds uh, yeah and I, I need to do two reds there apparently it seems weird that I need two reds there but then I don't need like two blues but I guess that's like the second blue because I feel like the way I I get this down to eight is by cutting down one of these reds and one of these blues okay I just I have to know uh, if I. Oh wait, now how would that work? Uh, well, I mean, this this cannot work, but yeah. Um. Okay, I want to. I need to see it for like a shorter one, just so I can understand again what's happening here. So like red, 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 blue, blue, blue. Takes off the red, adds a blue. Or well, here let me just do it for like only reds. I need to do this because if I add a if I add a blue on the start, if there's only reds, then that means like when I start to see reds and add them back on stuff when i see the first blue if the next thing's red i have to trash it but why can't i i just want to know like why can't i do this where it's like take off two things if the second thing is a oh wait no because that it needs to be after it takes off all, or um puts back on all the reds at the end if after it sees the first blue there's a red it trashes it <laughs> So if there's a bunch of reds, I guess that makes sense that after it sees the first blue, if the next thing it sees is a red, trash it. But if it's the next thing it sees is a blue, then just keep removing blues and add one back on. See, that's where it's like, it's kind of nice that this this doubles as a check for if it only had reds. Yeah, if it only had reds. 
but also removes a single blue so that um, it removes a blue and then for any other blues it removes one but just adds a single blue back so it loses a blue every time how do I do that up here with removing a red every time? I remove the first red, add a blue to mark the end, and then I remove the second red. I remove the next, but it's like I add so many reds on. It's so weird. It's like, why did I have to do that again? Blue. So if it's red, and then it immediately sees blue, that next one the next thing it sees, wait, if it removes a red and a blue and I immediately see blue. Because what I'm thinking is what if uh, it's a single red that that would also red blue immediately sees blue. Yeah, like I, I almost, I think it does have to do with this sort of like, why do I need to add two reds there? So like, if I just do this and I do like, okay, first of all, does this work if it, no, it doesn't. Oh, that's, so it removes, because I did, I did remove one red and then another red, but then I'm, by the time it gets out, it has three reds here, and it started with four, so that seems good. It lessened the reds by one, and then blue, removes one blue, and then keeps repeating that. Or, oh, wait, maybe it should remove, wait, should it be like this, I wonder? work moves the reds moves the blues wait what the heck happened there move two reds added a blue to mark the end oh because the blue to mark the end thing that's right wait so no that was good So yeah, it removes one blue, two blues. But the two blues should be, that should be the point where it's like, okay, it accounted for that first blue. Wait, no, I'm going back and forth on this. Why does this, why is this, why did it break so much though? There were five blues, but one is just to mark the end. We got down to two reds from four. How did that happen? Oh, wait. Duh, because it's supposed to enter there. Uh, how do I set that up? <laughs> um... Okay, well, just for now, I'll do this. Okay, so it, good. All right, we have three one down. Okay, and then it removes the first blue. That's just the one that marks the end. Now it's actually removing the first blue and just adding on the rest. Oh, but it comes out with four blues. Is that why is that? Because it came in with five, now four. Oh, it's because after it removes the first blue, it puts it a uh, new blue on, and then it does that back and forth thing. So I guess I do want it like. 
that, and then... This is just what I had before, but... Okay. Ah, uh, and then it... When it removes a... Oh, so when it removes a red... It should actually go right there. So... I kind of want like this. Uh... Oh wait, okay, wait. Hold on, hold on. So I need once it removes the red, if it sees blank next, it's good. But then that's the issue. If I if I want to send this red straight there, adding a blue on is not good anymore. Removes the red. Yeah, because it's like if there's blank after this is good. But if I if I just had blank go here, it would put on a blue. Blue would get taken off, put on a red, red would get taken off, and it's trash now. But that's this has a function because if there's a single red, moves the red, puts yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing as if there was a single red. That's why, I mean, okay, so I guess, okay, so I guess one way, uh, hmm, well, I mean, I was thinking, like, I could put a red here, but then I need to find a way to, and I don't, I don't think I helped anything at this point now that I added more on, but it would be like this, I guess. Oh, whoops. Oh, it doesn't even work. Red, blue, red, and then blue. Stamps a red on, sees a blue, takes a red off. Oh yeah, because if it adds a red on, uh, that doesn't work. Can I do that then? And then it, <laughs> but then it stamps a red and then a blue. Okay, yeah, no, I'm seeing the issue here. Man, that was it's weird. I like. That's good, but then when it removes the red, I want it to immediately go to that blue. But if it immediately goes to that blue, I'll never know when I have its, well, okay, let me just see what happens, I guess. Cause I don't think I actually checked it out. If I take this and I do that, I just want to understand. Uh, so I guess this. So it does that and then da 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 da. Removes the red, adds on a blue. Removes red, adds back on red. So now we have two reds. Moves a blue. So now we have. There we go, and then removes a red, adds on the blue, removes a blue, removes a blue, removes a red, now it's blank there. Yeah, so it's that being blank there, that's important. But if I let it go as is, it'll be like it just had a single red at the start, which is not good. Um, 
because single red is something I would want to toss. Could I... Could I say right after that, do this, and then if it's blank, toss it? Or wait. How many am I using, by the way? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I, it looks like I cut down one somehow. Um. Because I was thinking if that goes straight into another check and it sees blank, I could toss it. Yeah, because I shouldn't ever be able to just remove a red and then see a blank. So... That, that like almost is just like this. The only problem is I really do need that blue there, I'm pretty sure, but. Because I think this actually works for this one. Okay, so this is actually, because wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this seems, this seems like I'm getting near the proper design. It's just the problem is if it's red, and then blue, then it adds, or then it's like it's, it's blank there, but if it's red, and then blue, maybe, maybe, it, I don't know, like, let me just understand. If it's red, and then it's blue, it sends it that way. And then I kind of want it to be like, if it's blank, it should just go to victory. So, I mean... Oh wait, could this work? No, because I need, um... Well, okay, let me just try this. So if I do... It's blank, it goes to victory if it's oh uh if it's red it goes that way if it's blue it goes this way um like definitely extremely slow but does this work no okay red and then another red adds a red oh and it puts one back on and then it adds red and yeah so how's it supposed to know when it's over yeah but how many scanner stampers do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I, I have room for another one. So maybe it's like trash that, but then add the blue on here. 
red. Uh, that's red. These are blue. These are red. Oh, but then it's. So if it's red and then it sees a red. Then maybe. Yeah, I just need it to be like. No, wait, why isn't that going to work? Because then it's like. It removes all the reds. Oh. It, that's supposed to just remove all the reds and print them back on and then release it when it sees a blue. But it printed a red back on because I took off two reds. Okay, fair enough. Then it sees a blue. If it immediately sees a red, that's an that's an issue, right? Because it's supposed to have just reprinted all the reds onto the back, taken off the blue that separates that like that was this blue and then it's supposed to remove blues now but if it removes reds initially that's an issue but that means i would need to add another scanner stamper to say that if it's the very first red that's bad otherwise no worries it's the very first red Crash it. Yeah, because I kind of want like this. But then if it's blue, like, give it blues until it remove the blues add blues until it sees a red and when it sees a red send it this way now I don't think this is working anymore but let's just see red blue blue red blue and then saw another blue oh and then blank so actually I can just Flip that and put that there. Red, blue, blue, blue. <laughs> blue, and then, oh, it got stuck. Oh, okay. So, if it's initially a red, and then immediately a blue, It's immediately a blue. It better be blank afterwards. If it's not blank, that should be trash there. Uh oh, I, I don't know. Now I'm like messing with this far too much, but. Red, red, blue, blue, red, red. Okay, and then adds blue. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think if I want to solve this, I have to like restart or something because I've just <laughs> this just doesn't make any more sense. But ah, god. Okay, let me, let me try a restart here. Hopefully I can get this level done. Because, I mean, I already got this level done. But hopefully I can get the medals for this one. Because, uh... Because Fruit Crusher is insane. I, I want to get that. But, like, there's it seems like there's one insane one every batch. I'll check, you know, I'll go to the next area next time. But, uh... So, like... 
Okay, let me just see if I can do this from scratch. So, immediately remove a red. And... Okay, if it's blank initially, that's just good. And then... Add back on the reds. So I just want to see, does this make it so that there's one less red than what we started with? No, that's the same amount. So I do want to say... Something to the effect of this, so that it removes two reds before spitting it out. If it sees a red and then it's done, that's definitely trash. Once it sees a blue, do I just want to do the same sort of process and say, like, immediately remove a blue? So it sees a blue. Immediately remove a blue. Oh, wait. I guess I would want it like this. And then spit it back and forth until it sees a red. And then bring it back to this. Start. Just don't ever want to block off something just when I'm in the middle of the test. So then what does this do? It should cut down the reds by one and then cut down the blues by one. Oh yeah, and then because it just cut down the red by one, I'd actually want this one to get sent here. So actually... Red, and then cuts down the blues by one, cuts down the reds by one, cuts down the blues by one, cuts down the reds by one, blues by one, blue, and then blank. So this is my preliminary design. Okay, but it fails if it sees just two reds, because then it would go red, uh, and then it would just go back and forth. So, that's why I need to be able to mark the ending, and I could, I, uh, hmm, would I still want... it to be able to remove a red and if it sees blank to trash that I mean that's just for the one red case if it needs to add a blue on to mark the ending what if I just do that right at the start and only at once at the very start now let me just see what it does for this case because then it would add a blue and then do the same process but I would want to make sure it removes an extra blue now because I added a blue on to mark the ending so I mean technically I would need something more like this and then this That's convenient. Okay, let's see if that at least does this one right. Blue, blue. No, 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 no. Something weird happened here. Moved a red, moved another red, but kept hanging on. We have three. Then removes a blue, removes another blue immediately, and 
and then just prints those blues onto the end. No, but okay, so then I printed an extra one. So I actually think I might want this. that yeah and now two reds should be two blues wait it went from so this was like three reds three blues and it went down to two reds Oh, wait, yeah, it shouldn't remove the extra. Oh, I see. Hmm. It should only remove. Oh, that's an issue of like that blue. I see. Because if I add that blue on right there, then I only would have. Okay, so that's why. That's a good argument for why I'd want to remove that blue on after the start in a way that we would see it every single time. What if I put it right there and then run this one? How does it work now? So, adds that blue on, then removes the reds, cuts it down by one, right? Because we started with four. And then removes a blue, and then it's supposed to cut down the blues by one, but it has an extra one because it didn't remove the second blue. But, okay, so let me just do this again where. I say actually, or let me move it down again. Actually, make sure that make sure that uh, we see another blue before handing it over here and doing this process. Okay, and then that's where that kind of worked out like that. Okay, so. Blue, and then, yeah. Now it moves to red, but adds a blue. Okay, so where does this one end up? Red, blue, 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 blank. Okay, when does this, oops. When does this fail? single red. Single red takes off the red, now it's blank, but it adds a blue, but just one blue. Okay. So, in this single case, I would just put that there to fix it. Okay, two reds. Because then it sees a red, sees a red, prints it back on, and then it sees a blue, but then it sees a red, which is bad, so I think that's also a fail. Red, blue, blue. So red, blue. Now, it removed the one red. That's fine. But now it's removing blues. That removed the, the end point blue. Then that removed the first blue. And now it's reprinting on the rest. But then it gets stuck. But it should be... This is where it should be like, um, oh, do I need it? Wait, how many? Wait, oh, my mouse froze. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I'm thinking, I think I need to mark it with a red here now and say, if you, and, yeah, do I need to do that? Mark it with a red to say, okay, um, yeah, it's almost like I just want it to be like symmetric, I think. Like it starts by removing a red, adding a blue, and then doing the repeats for red. And then it should start by removing a blue, adding a red, and then, yeah, so let me just see if that somehow works. Starts by removing. Okay, wait, so I, I didn't want this guy to start here, but. 
So then it removes the red, adds a blue, and then for every red, moves on until it gets a blue. And then when it sees a blue, adds a red, removes the blue until it sees a red. And then it's blank right there. Okay, so if I could say that blank is victory, that would actually be good. But to say that blank is victory, but also allow it to start there is a little tricky, but if I just do this, actually it should only ever flow that way, then I can say this and this is victory. Let me just see, does this work somehow? Single red, red, and then that, blue, and then it's blank. Oh, but if blank just needs to be trash, I can just flip that and make that trash. It's a nice looking design. Wow, does it work? <laughs> Wait, I can even... Wait, what? Because I can make this very compact. Oh, wait, no, I can't because of the dude. But, oh, that is so close to being, like, even more compactable. Wait, I didn't even look at the stats. Okay, wow. That's a very pretty design. Perfect, like, pound symbol. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's... Okay. But I think the 10 literally just comes from that. Uh, man, that's unfortunate that this is it, but I need it to start there. But every side is taken already. Wait, I just want to see if I... Oh, wait, no, let me do this. If I remove this, does it still work? Shoot. Dang it. <laughs> okay, wait, why can't I move this up at least? Move this. How do I, do I, can I just like make a weird chain of these or something? Like is the, wait, I don't, I want to see what the, uh, the, the charts look like here. Oh wow, people have done this way faster. People have done this way, way faster and way smaller area. Apparently there's a much simpler way that I'm missing. Um, but, uh, ignoring that for a second, I just need to remove that step of the process. God, I just want to bring it all up one. Or not like that. Oh, not like that. How would I get it to go there? Okay, wait. Is Does this one have actual effects? Oh, uh, okay, wait. That's good news. Okay. So because that one doesn't actually do anything, then I think I can say this and make this victory, please. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, wow. That is fast. Oh, and only 20? Nice. And wait, I, I just want to. Oh, well, I didn't mean to leave, but. I just want to know did all of these matter? It's kind of interesting if all of them did. Yeah. Oh no, that one didn't. Interesting. This one does, right? So, this is actually all I needed. Huh. But I guess this is kind of the best way to fit it all in. 
cool. Well, I'm pretty happy with that design. Don't think it can get too much better than that, to be honest. But apparently it can. <laughs> it can get... Holy cow, it can get very fast. Is this just... The, I don't I want to know what that looks like. But I, I'm happy with this design. That's pretty cool. And I think that's a good place to stop. This one is annoying as heck. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to beat it. But I'll, I'll try at some point. Uh, but probably just going to go to the new area next time. Alright. Thanks if you watch. See ya.